And, and just talking about health in general, I know last time you, you were here in, in town, we spoke just a little bit about uh, you had received the, the memo from CMS on Medicaid expansion, right. um, pro providing health care to, to Tennesseans who may not necessarily right. be in a good health position. Right. Can, can you tell us a little bit more about your process on that decision? Yes, it's still no. ongoing discussions with with uh, HHS or CMS, which is the division of HHS we deal with. Um, I hope to be in Washington sometime this month to, to hopefully push those discussions toward uh, a little bit more clarity about the things that we would like to do and the things that they'll allow us to do and to see if there's a match. I mean, I've, I've said all along expanding Medicaid in Tennessee I think meant having a different plan than, than what traditional Medicaid had been. And I think the legislature's been real clear about for them to approve it, it needs to look different than, than what Medicaid's looked like in the past. You know, in Tennessee, we've had the experience of having to cut our Medicaid rolls several years ago. And so a lot of legislators who live through that are like, well, before we add those folks back to the ro rolls, let's make certain we have a different circumstance than we did last time. So. Discussions are going back and forth. I don't know that I have any new insight about timing or about the uh, the, uh, the the possibility of getting it worked out. Can we expect a decision after your trip yeah, to Washington? I, I think I think what I've said all along is by 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 the end of the summer that I thought uh, I would be able to say, hey, we're moving in a direction that looks like we're going to get something you know done in the next few months, or we're not, and it's going to take longer than that. Guys, we have time for maybe one more. I have a question about Tennessee opting out of running its own exchange program right. has meant that there's been significantly fewer or federal funds to actually advertise, implement, help uh, Tennesseans understand how the exchanges are going to work. Do you feel like Tennessee is dropping the ball on making this a successful program in Tennessee? Yeah, no, I, actually the, the exchange was going to happen one way or the other. It was a question of whether the state was going to run it or the federal government. Right. The federal government at the time said, hey, whether we do it or you do it, the, the, impl the implementation will be the same. We felt like given the difficulties of, of, inter of all the data that had to interface between the federal system and our system, at this startup period it would, go, it would be smoother if they ran it. And, you know, th th this is a massive undertaking that's happening, and um, I, I still think that that is, uh, as we get underway, let's let them run it at first. I think it'll it'll make for a smoother process than having both of us in the middle of the kitchen. But we've we've received significantly fewer funds to actually make it successful. But like very few Tennesseans seem to know what's actually going on. Right. But again, I, I point that back to the, the feds, and I, we said, hey. They said either you can run it or we can run it, uh, but the implementation won't be any different. So we took them at, at their word that, that that's how that would work.